now from South Seminole Middle School in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a special Friday afternoon edition of South Seminole News. I'm Mr. Miles, and I'm here with Ms. Stalker today. Hi. And why don't you introduce us to our students here? Yes, of course. So these students right here went on the um, field trip with us to UF. Yes. This is Ariana, Nene, Anastasia, and Owen. And you doing okay there, Owen? <laughs> you, looked little, you looked a little deer in the headlights there for a second. Oh, while I think of it, uh, uh, we've got some afternoon announcements. Actually, Mr. Best just read this one. Uh, real quick, no boys basketball today. Uh, next practice will be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. Teachers, a reminder, check your email because Ms. Bay sent out a list of those students that need to go to girls in government today. Actually, that one we already read. Hang on. That one was uh, Mr. Best just read that. Ms. Knowles wanted to remind her students that volunteers that are going to English Estates tonight that's from 6 to 8 p.m. If you have any questions about that, uh, see her in room 207. That's it for announcements. What else we got? Oh, no, we're here about uh, you guys. You guys went to the University of Florida. You came back. We did. Go Monday. Gators. Yes, we went on Monday. We left really, really early in the morning. Um, they got here around, time to have it guys get here, like 6.30. I was here at 6.30. Yeah, yeah and then we went for two hours. We went, went to 7-Eleven. You went to 7-Eleven before? <laughs> yeah. On the bus or before you got here? Before I got to school. Oh, okay, good. Tell us about your day. How was your day? No. We want to know. So what was the reason you guys went to the University of Florida? So do you guys want to tell you? Yeah, go ahead, tell us. Go ahead, make sure you speak up because you don't have a mic on. Why did you go to the, why did we go to the University of Florida? Uh, we went to like for science and then we actually toured the school after. It was actually really cool. Yeah, so we went, they had an engineering fair there, um, so it was STEM based to get them um, engaged and looking forward to going in those STEM fields. Also, not only um, uh, ladies to get them excited about science, but um, men as well. Okay. Um, and then we, while we were there, we also had the great opportunity to go to the College of Health and Human Performance, okay. which is really exciting. And then we also got like a private behind the scenes tour of the um, University of Florida football field. You went to the football field. Yeah, I yeah. think we have, that was, uh, it was we, that's one of the photos that we have here. Let's see, we have a couple of photos. Uh, tell us what we have yeah, up on the screen so here. Yeah, so this photo is, they have a um, gator statue right outside Hebner Hall, and Hebner Hall is a complex that displays all of the um, football and athletic trophies. Um, and we're just doing the gator jump in that picture, a bunch of, a bunch of girls, because, you know, that's who right, runs the world? Right. Girls. girls. Oh, right. <laughs> There's a couple other pictures here. There's too. Anastasia. <laughs> it are so Ariana. cute. And Ariana. Which department were you in here? We are in the HHP college. And what were you doing there? Um, we were like looking at hearts and different parts of them and bones and like they was like telling us different things about them. Is that like an anatomy building? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, yeah. very good. What else have we got? We got some other photos here. Again, that, the that was yeah. their arm. That I was, was like, I think, their a highlight of their trip was yeah, that, that one. Was yeah. 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 yeah, Nene, why was that your favorite? Well, it had a lot to do with bones and stuff, and I want to be an orthopedic surgeon, so I really oh, like that. Very good. They have a good orthopedic uh, program there yeah. that we know of. Excellent. So you could say years from now, you could say, I came here. I came here when I went to middle school, and I got a tour of your school. Were there other, uh, oh, we got some more pictures here as well. What else do we see here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the, the same. Bar. Yeah. yeah. There's different parts of the was upper it, body. Was this during an actual class? Were there other students there at the no. time? No. I think yeah, across from us. No, there was so a they class. had a private tour going on. Yeah. Okay. And yes, you, so you weren't interrupting any classes or anything? Were you ever in other classes with people? Uh, no. Think so. no. No. We walked by them. You walked but by they, them? And yeah, and I had to make sure they were quiet because yeah. there was classes going on. When was the last time you walked had. around on a college campus? Um, actually, I go to the University of Florida football games a lot. Oh, very good. So um, it was easy to navigate that way. Our through. principal must be so happy that we're talking about yeah. this right now. Of course, <laughs> of go course. Gators! Go of course, Gators, yep. You got any other photos there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this was actually in the presidential suite. That, what did you guys think about the presidential oh, yeah, suite? I love the how view, close. Like, I love it. It was so cool. Yeah, the view is pretty cool, and we got to see, and it holds. What did they say? Two hundred people. 200 guests on um, yes. game day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they got to see all that. The view was unbelievable. You get the behind the scenes that, tour? Right? Like, yeah. Did they do yeah. locker rooms or anything like no, that? No, we didn't get to do in the locker rooms, but um, it was definitely a once in a lifetime experience, something that yeah. I've never seen before. And yeah. They said I'll you had cherish. to be invited. You had to be invited. Yeah. So this was yeah. a very special. Yeah. How many students were uh, with you? 
We took around 100 students. Oh, from here? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. There's a lot of students from there. How many bus? What kind of bus did you take? A school bus? What kind of? No. Take a fancy bus? We took a fancy oh, bus. Nice. That was nice. That's a long drive. That's why. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a couple. That's like at least two hours, right? Yeah. That's yeah. like two hours there and two hours back. Yeah. It was, like, it was like three hours. Oh, wow. They geez. slept a lot of the way. Yeah. yeah. The whole time. He took pictures. pictures. <laughs> so what were some of your pictures. what were some of your takeaways from the trip? What was like some of the things that that Kind of stand out in your mind. Oh, I like the that. RC car. RC car? Yeah. Okay, tell us about the RC tell us, car. Tell us about that. Well, I uh, drove it and I hit all the students with it. You're talking about like a little remote control car? Is yeah. Is it like a robotics class? Well, I, or? So I think of an RC car and then think of a 10 times cooler one. Okay, if I'm picturing it. That, that's what that was. That's what that was. And the, and the remote control was like, had all these buttons on it. That's cool. That's amazing. <laughs> good memories. That's good memories. <laughs> Anything else you can think of? What are some of your takeaways from the, your trip? I like that we can see all the different programs they offered. So it gives me an open mind to other colleges. Like, are there well, any, other programs, colleges any programs that stood out in your mind that you're interested in? Um, the HHP College. Yeah. What is HHP? What is that code for? I don't know um, what HHP is. The health? Wait. Health and Human Performance. Oh, yeah. Health and Human yeah. Performance. Okay, there. okay. I love that one. <laughs> Yeah, I like Darcy Car though. I heard that. Yeah. I heard that about him. He's you. more of the engineering type. They're That's more good. of medical, I mean, which have, is great. They have an amazing engineering yeah. program there as well, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So the thing when he was talking about the RC car, there wasn't there was an engineering fair, and that was our main purpose for going um, to this um, University of Florida. Mm -hmm. And then I also reached out to some other people that um, Miss Mary Lane and Dr. Calderon, who's a member of our school board, and they helped make sure that our students got the special treatment and made sure that they had experience of a lifetime, which excellent, is very nice. Excellent, excellent. Uh, did any other teachers? What other who other teachers mm -hmm. went with you on this trip? Miss Sarah Quinn, Miss Strickland, Miss Strickland, Miss Odom. Miss Odom. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Can I sites now? Uh, <laughs> yeah, miss sites bad. now. <laughs> That's right, get that correct. Um, what did you guys do for lunch that day? Or did you get to be on campus? We couldn't eat there. Couldn't eat on campus? You don't want to hang, let them we hang sat out with the college the kids? So. They got to hang out. Yeah, we sat yeah. on the steps. It was actually yeah. nice outside. We sat on the steps outside. Yeah, they let, sat out the steps outside of the um, Rights Union, which is the like student day. union. I was going to say, did you get a chance to walk around on the campus? <laughs> you know, a lot yeah. of walking. Yeah. It was a lot you can kind of get lost on that campus. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, it was actually yeah. very big. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me about uh, each one of you trying to tell me. What was like one of your biggest surprises from the trip that surprised you? You weren't Definitely sure. the RC cars. I heard about that. I heard about the cars. They were a big <laughs> surprise. Any other? What, what was like the big surprise you weren't expecting that day? I think the big surprise was when we got to see the presidential suite. Like, yeah. I didn't expect it to be that nice. Like, it was nice. It was actually, it's like was, an honor for I'm us I'm guessing that was right on the 50-yard line. Yeah, because yeah, you know, it was. Way up there. Yeah, yeah. it was. And TV sets everywhere. Yeah. And, yeah, that's cool. Any other surprises yeah. from your trip? Um, I mean, I like the science fair. I like that yeah, all the, the science students. Fair, I like the, one of my favorite ones from the science fair is when they had this robotic arm for the disabled kids. Yeah. Wow. It was a that was one of prototype. my favorites. Uh -huh. It had to do something with, yeah. They use a 3D printer to print yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, they, they have one of those easier. 3D printers. Yeah. They said it was easier for people to do that instead of going through another way. Did you guys have a chance to ask questions at all whenever you yeah. went to anything? We, did, yeah. we met some of the college students there asking questions. Oh, you got to talk to the college students. Oh, yeah. okay. What kind Our of questions did you get a chance to ask? And what kind of questions did you ask them? We mostly asked them, like, were they seniors or, like, sophomores? Yeah. That was yeah. the main question. Yeah, senior. Now, when you yeah. saw them, did they seem older to you, or were they, like, <laughs> they <laughs> seemed younger. That's they what were, I was going to say. I've noticed later. They were kind of nervous. Like, yeah. when they was talking to us, like, they were so nervous. They were stuttering. They weren't ready to be, they didn't expect a hundred kids to show up. Yeah. Probably. It was yeah. more schools. It was more, it was yeah. other people there too. There was like a Nerf schools. gun there. They had a Nerf gun? Oh, is that from yeah. like one of the, which class was that in? Is that also yeah. robotics? In the fair. You know what I've heard actually, I've heard, I've heard good things about the RC cars though. I don't know if you knew that. So, and do you have any other surprises? What, what, when you, when you got there, like what was the big surprise? When we first drove in, what was the biggest shocker that you all were talking about the most? Scooters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, like kids going around yeah. on scooters? Yeah. yeah. There was like a whole, like, just three lines of it. Just scooters, like a bike It was rack, like so many like scooters. scooters. Yeah. How do you lock up your scooters? No. They lock up their scooters? No, they like, they like put them in the parking lot. Miss Stalker yeah, was like, saying how she wanted it so bad. Yeah, I really wanted a scooter when I was in, in school, but I never because had it's one. A lot, it's a long it is walk. Like a you know, that's a, when you had to go yeah. between buildings, that's, a, that's a, what do they give you, five, ten minutes in college? I don't even remember. What do they give you in between classes? So it's basically you make your own schedule. 
So whatever works with your schedule. I know sometimes I would take classes in the morning and not in the afternoon, but then some days I would take it throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then some days I wouldn't have class on Mondays or Fridays and just Tuesdays that. or Wednesdays. That's so I... that's the that was the cool thing, I think, too, is being able to make your own schedule. And that's why we're trying to push um, independence in these kids is because they need to start making those great decisions about their future. you got to start thinking about a career yeah. path. After going on the trip, is there any... Anything you saw that kind of steered you in a certain way? Like, I'm thinking about going this way now when it comes to my future. It kind I mean, of like motivated kind of me to be what I wanted. I mean, like, Maybe it interested me that they had all these different majors. I mm -hmm. like that. Like, some of them said these different majors. I didn't know that you could study that. So That's really the cool thing about finding out things about college. You don't know yeah. that there's, yeah. you can graduate with a diploma in something you didn't even know existed. That's, that's Yeah, and true. sometimes you go into college thinking one thing, and then by the end of it, you've switched your mind completely. Yeah. So, so you may, so you might be switching your mind at one point, but where is your mind right now? Like, what is it you're interested in? You're going to be studying possibly Ariana, when you go to college. Uh, what are you interested in? I want to be a cardiac surgeon. Cardiac surgeon. That sounds like. And Ariana was all about the heart when yeah. we were, yeah. we were in college. Everything. HHP. She, she was identifying everything yeah. on it. She was really excited about that. It was a proud teacher moment. Okay, cardiac <laughs> surgeon. <laughs> what, what about you? you? Got something in mind? Orthopedic. Orthopedic, that's right, you did say that. Yeah, Nene was, Nene, when we have dress up days, she's always uh, a doctor and she's obsessed with what show, Nene? Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I don't know how much that is about doctors and surgeries, but yeah. uh, uh, my mom likes that show. Yeah, my mom likes <laughs> what, what do you have? What do you have um, thoughts? I'm very interested in forensic psychology. Ooh, forensic psychology. Can you yes. give me kind of a definition of what forensic psychology is? Yeah. I want to kind of get a well, good grasp on that. I watch Law and Order SVU. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I wore the shirt the other day. Nice. Um, um, there's a doctor on there, Dr. Wong, mm -hmm. and he analyzes the like criminals there or the children there, and you know. The cool thing about those crimes is they're all wrapped up in one hour, so we might have a, a future in that. Okay, what kind of career path are you looking towards? I want to be a professional Fortnite player. A oh professional Fortnite player? Was that one of the courses that they offer? That's not there? a career. Well, they do offer professional gaming. Battle. They do offer gaming. They do oh, yeah. offer gaming. They're serious about gaming yeah, and coding. That's a big and thing. Absolutely. That's a huge so thing. Also, kind of like uh, RC cars as well. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, well, good. I'm glad you guys got to go to the uh, uh, to, to the University of Florida. I almost said Central Florida. I'm glad you got to go to the <laughs> University of Florida. Um, now that you've gone to the school and now that you've gotten back into your classroom, does it help? Does that help you now? Now that you've been out there, the first day you were back in class here, did that help you in any way? It kind of like motivated you, like good. To That's what I was hoping. Yeah. Good grades, like so you can attain a nice college like that. It made me want to start early now. That's and good. Stop playing games. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Whose idea was it here to go to the to, to the school? Is that something you would put together? Miss Stalker. Um, well, Dr. Coleman Baker actually reached out to us because as she graduated from the University of Florida, as I've did heard. I. I've heard. Um, we she reached out to us and said they were having this STEM day, and we did it last year, and we went last year, and so she reached out again and said we'd like to go. And Miss um, Amaclosi and I are all about giving these kids experiences and showing them that it's not just about sitting in class and learning information. That we want them to learn things that can apply to them outside. Right. Um, so we're all about giving them experiences. So I was all on board when I could give any of them an experience, and especially with my alma mater. Like it was such a heartwarming thing to see these kids mm -hmm. walking around where I was just, I'm so proud of to come from there and that university and everything that it means to me. So if I could just share a little bit of it. Did you ever get to visit the school at a young age like them? I did, I did. My my dad went there. Mm -hmm. um, oh. So I we've been going, I've been going to football games since I was uh, so you were very familiar with yes. the campus. So yes. That's very good. That's yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Well, if in the future, if there's any money, we do try to do a Friday afternoon show from time to time. If you've gone on a special trip or if there's a big event coming up and you want to talk about that on our Friday afternoon show, uh, give us a call. Let us know. Don't call us. There's no phone number. <laughs> uh, you can send us a message, of course, at uh, ssmsnews at yahoo.com. Uh, I think we're ready to wrap it up. Uh, if you uh, have any ideas for a show you want us to do on a Friday, you just let us know. I'm Mr. Miles. I'm a stalker. This is Anastasia. I'm Nancy. I'm Ariana.
And we want to thank you for watching our Friday afternoon show. You guys have a great weekend. And what do we always say at the end of the show? Anybody watch the news? Don't have don't a great weekend. And don't forget to storm. Go Gators!